In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at the process of working with background music clips that are available with increasing frequency for users of PowerDirector 365, the subscriber model. So if you're a subscriber, you can actually preview and then download and install and then apply a whole host of new and growing background music clips to your projects. We'd like to cover the process in this particular tutorial. I have on the screen a clip of a very nice holiday scene and what I'd like to do is add some music to it. Well, one thing I just noticed is there's a new pack of background music called Background Music Holiday Jingles. I'm going to stop this preview and drag the clip onto track number one and see if we can find a background music that I would like to add to this particular project. First step in doing that is going to the website of CyberLink. We'll pop that up on the screen here and you notice I have gone into the menu of the website from home to products to plugins and effects and then the last is for PowerDirector. Or you can simply Google CyberLink and plugins and you'll get to this screen or one like it. We have several options here. If you click up here at the top, we have all, we have AI styles, we have creative design packs, and then we have music. And that is broken up into background music and sound effects. So you can sub-select whatever category you want. Right now, I just went to the Music tab and went down to the Background Music. And you see instantly that we have a host of items available that are simply background music for 365 subscribers. Now, I may decide that there's some of this I would like and some that I really don't care about. How can I preview what's here so I don't have to download it and then say, well, that was a waste of time. One thing I like about the way they've set this up is you can click on any of the items you're interested in. And when you're on the panel, just click on it and it will take you to a new screen. And when you get to that screen, if you drag down slightly, it will show you all of the individual songs in that background music pack and you can play any of them. In fact, it will normally start by giving you a preview, an audio preview of the very first song. I can click on play. Or I can move to another song. Or So you can actually preview every single song. You see what they are. You see a minor description of them, including a little bit about the style. And so you have an easy way without downloading any of them to see what's in that particular pack to decide whether or not it's something you want to add into your resources for your copy of PowerDirector as a 365 subscriber. So it's a really nice tool that will save you some time and help you discern what you want and what you want to leave on the website for now as a subscriber. The next step, once you decide, well, I'd like that pack, is to load another prog program available in CyberLink PowerDirector 365, which is your application manager. And when you click on that, you have three tabs at the top. You have My Programs, you have Packs, and then you have another one called Music. We're going to work with the music one. And then we have some other ways in which we can filter what we see. You notice it starts with all on the upper left. I can click and just choose background music or sound clips. I'll do background music. And then on the right, the very far right, I have a sort field. I click on the icon to sort and I can sort by name, type, date, or descending or ascending. I'm going to, going to click on date which will bring the newest to the top. And here's the newest. This is background music holiday jingles. Now I can click on the download button to download it. If I've downloaded it already as I have this second unit I can click on the file folder and that will show me what each of the ones are in the downloaded pack and I again can click on them and I will preview them. 
If I want to go back a screen, I click on the left pointing arrow at the upper left corner of the panel, and I'm back to where I, I was a moment ago. So let's go ahead and download this pack. And it doesn't take too long, depending on your internet speed. And we'll pause this video and then resume the tutorial. Now that I've downloaded the pack, again, I can click on the file folder to show me all the individual elements inside it. And I'm done with the application manager. So I'm going to close that screen and also my web screen. And I'm back to PowerDirector. The place to find the music that you've downloaded from CyberLink as a 365 subscriber is to go to the media content in your media room, click on the down arrow, and then you can click on background music. This will give you a panel that shows you all the ones that you have available. And you notice especially you have two different icons on the right. The check mark means it's something that you have downloaded. The down arrow and the little box at the bottom means you have yet to download that to install it in your system. If I go to the bottom, we see I have a host of items here. I'm going to go by date again, and we'll see what the new ones are. Go back to the top, and I can see I've got all these ones that are available, and go back to the 1124. 2019 and I have the ones that we just uh, listened to on the website and we can sample it now I actually haven't downloaded it yet if I want to do that all I need to do is to click on the icon on the download column and it will download that individual item into my local copy of CyberLink PowerDirector and then once they're in there, it's very easy to manage them. All I need to do is take any one of the elements that I find here and, and drag and drop it into any audio track or any music track I want. Then we'll resize our screen here. We will need to edit it for length in a, in a little bit in this particular project, but you can see it works pretty good. So that's a way in which you can follow the process of previewing, downloading, installing, and applying background music tracks as a 365 PowerDirector subscriber. Mm -hmm.